What's up, fellas? So, hectic day, but we are at Cash at the Creek. And uh, I got teched in, everything's all good. I drew this uh, yellow C10 right here, so it should be a fun race. But uh, I'm gonna go try a couple things, change a few things in my tune-up before we head up there. But um, I did get the car fixed, and I did make a couple pulls on it, and I'll drop those video clips in here. And then uh, I'm gonna make some changes, and we'll get geared up and head up to the lanes for the test pass. So. Hopefully everything's all good. Um, car seemed like it's running really nice, so it should be fun. Let's do it. Well, as you saw there, test pass one was a big old fail. So that is just stupid. I'm gonna start doing burnouts off the trans brake again. It's just way easier. Car don't make enough nuts to just do it. It's just sitting there. I mean, it does, but you know, you have one thing go wrong like that and then it just don't do it. So it's just way easier on the trans brake. It gets a little burnout going and that's all you need. I don't have to hammer on it or do anything wild, but so guaranteed it had water under the tires. If you watch the video close, you can kind of tell the bottom of the tire looks pretty black where it doesn't really look like that just sitting here I mean I can even show you so like it's got a little dark but nothing crazy in the video it's like pitch ass black like it's wet and the cars never hit the tires like that before so gotta be what it was but uh whatever it is what it is um, tried a few different things but obviously we know nothing so pulled a couple degrees out on the hit and uh, we're just gonna go up there and let her chew again and uh, if it don't go then maybe the car is actually happy and I need to turn it down and figure out the new gear and new converter. So that's why we're here. I mean, every, all Rock Falls moved all the test days to Friday, so I can't really test anymore, you know, cause I got work and stuff like that. But so when you kind of have a tough season like this, sometimes you come to a race, shit don't work and then just run tests and tune, learn something. So hopefully we can sneak it through first round and everything goes well, then we're back on track. But if not, we'll test and we'll try to learn something and try to make some progress with this thing this year and maybe we can hit up a few bigger races. So just gonna let her cool down and uh, wait for everyone to be done with their test passes and we'll head back up for round one.
So there you seen was round one, but sorry I have to do all this at home. Um, they actually sped up the event quite a bit from what it typically was. So usually from that race, I get home about 3 a.m. I was home by 11, 11.30ish this time, and I watched the finals. So yeah, they sped it up amazingly, which is fine. I love it. Um, either way is good for me. I, you know, it was fun being there and watching all the racing and doing everything when it took forever, but also it was nice just uh, getting right down to business and going after it. So didn't really have any time to film at all in between. I was by the time you got done looking at data and cooling the car off, they were calling calling me up and had to, you know, recheck everything and get all going and everything like that. So there you seen round one had the uh, little yellow C10, and um, I don't know what went on on his side, but my car is just it isn't happy and it's going not that fast from what it usually does, and uh, somehow we got the W. So. I guess luck was on my side for that pass, but everything looked good. Car went right down Broadway, just like it's supposed to. No wonder, water under the tires. As you've seen, I actually did a pretty good burnout. So, uh, yeah, that was a pretty good one. And then um, after that, I drew a orange Nova. So uh, you can see that one coming up. So round two, got the W there again. Once again, got uh, got pretty lucky. So what ended up happening there, it was probably hard to see, but I was on the trans brake for nine seconds total. But um, his car actually shut off when he went to jump on the brake. And uh, so then he's you know trying to get it started back up and everything, and I'm just sitting there ready to go. And uh, he just rolled her in before I timed out, and then I was off, and he just rolled out of there and basically just tried to catch me so car went a little faster that time but still nothing to what it's usually is um I got some theories but just nothing in my mind quite yet but uh so yeah that was round two got another W on to round three and actually round three I when I was looking at the bracket I got a buy so that was kind of cool so I took my time cooled everything off because the trans was not too hot but pretty warm so I waited a little while then uh rolled on up there Got a bye, third round bye, so we'll see what happens. 
happens. So there was my buy run. Everything went pretty good, but uh, the car kind of scared me a little bit before I even made it up to the line. So didn't want to start. And I was like, that's super weird. And uh, some guy came up and goes, hey man, sometimes the V6, they, you load a new tune in and it don't fire over right away. I'm like, well, that's kind of weird. I, you know, I already had it loaded in when I drove it up here, but I was like, whatever. So I hooked the laptop back up, reloaded, tried it, tried it, tried it, tried it, all of a sudden, ba -ba 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 -bum, she fires right up. So I didn't really think anything of it, but uh, you know, just went up there and did my buy run and uh, on to round four. All right guys, semi-finals. The car is messed up, the fuel pump's not working great. I mean, it is when it's running, but not when it's not running. And the turbo is actually going out, so super good day, but we're in the semi-finals. So.
Sarah seen round four, I drew uh, David Senderhoff. He has a super badass Fox Body Mustang, nitrous, small block Ford, things crazy fast. And uh, so I pretty much knew I was out gun then, especially since the car just is not doing what it is supposed to do. And um, so I just threw the, threw the coals at it, but a little prior round four fun. My trans was still pretty hot. Shout out to Zach for letting me use your fans. So I went up and pulled over to his booth and I pull up there and I get out of the car and he goes, hey man, does your turbo usually spin? And I'm like, yeah, it should. I mean, it barely spins when it's cold, but once the oil's got a little heat in it, yeah, she spins pretty good. He's like, it ain't turning at all. I'm like, well, what in the world? So we go over there and start looking at it. Things like locked up right there. So he starts wiggling around, gets her to free up, start the car back up. It's spinning, everything's all right. So we shut it off and I pull the hood to, you know, just check some things and make sure things got oil and, you know, kind of what's going on. And turns out I forgot to tighten my coils down. So coils were hanging a little bit. Luckily, didn't burn no spark plugs. And my breather fell off, which is bizarre, but whatever. Probably didn't tighten it down or do something. Sometimes I kind of lazy on that stuff. So then we get all ready to go and everything's pretty much cool off and I go to light the car back up, nothing won't turn over or won't fire up again. And I start listening, I'm like, oh my God, no fuel pump. We got no fuel pump again. So I just am blown away at this point. So we let it sit for a while, I actually put a fan on it, maybe thinking that it was hot or something. Let it sit for about 10 more minutes and fired it up. And then I never shut it off for like 15 minutes because they weren't ready to run us yet. So I backed into my pit and let her sit there and idle and put all my gear on and drove it up there, then let it sit there and idle for how long? And then I kind of worked the tune just a little bit because I knew I was outgunned, but I'm like, oh, I might as well try to do something. And then, uh, yeah, went up there and right off the button, about 0.6 seconds in, boost cut. So that was pretty much the end of the night for me um, since the fuel pump was acting up and the turbo was actually taking a crap and some guy was saying, telling my dad that there was sparks flying out of the exhaust. So that was definitely not a good situation. So right after that, just pulled around the trailer, knocked out in the semifinals, but pretty happy to make it there. Got pretty lucky. I mean, you know, I don't know what was going on with some of them other cars, but I guess that's the luck of the draw. Sometimes you just happen to make it pretty far and that we did. It was definitely great to be back in the seat again and back racing competitively. You know, it kind of makes you realize why you love the sport so much because it's been a battle here this year. So much money, so much time, all kinds of stuff like that. So it was definitely great to be back in the seat. All right, so we are back home and you can see no turbo. And I'll go show you over here. Dad's Cobra, tune that today. Coyote, look at mint. Alternator for the boat. And then the big old VS. So it might be kind of hard to see, but I'll come back here. Yeah, you probably can't see that. We'll go right here then. I mean, that is like, you can hear it. It's a lot. And you can actually see right down in there where it's been hazing the wheel. And it did a little bit up there too. And a little bit over here. So she, uh, definitely was on her last life. That's for sure. Which really sucks. So now I'm just kind of torn what to do. I know what I'm going to do with the turbo. As long as they can fix it, I'm going to take it to Midwest Turbo. They're in Hudson, Wisconsin, and they'll get me fixed up. But other than that, I might uh, take that Aeromoto 5.0 out. Put I got this 10.0 right here. Put that one back in and then uh, just run it for the year. And whatever happens, happens. And I'll switch to mechanical this winter because just can't keep having this happen. So she's looking a little lazy right now. Not very fast without the turbo. But uh, I'm gonna evaluate some things, make some decisions, and get this thing rolling again here soon. And like I was saying, I, I really wanna be back and racing again on the 13th for the third cache at the creek. It was so fun to be side by side next to cars again and tuning and doing all that stuff. It's so much fun. You know, reminds me why I love the sport. So that was awesome. Had a hell of a time, even though the car wasn't doing nearly what it's supposed to. It was still an awesome time and uh, it's great to get back behind the wheel again. Really sucks that we had to have so many problems, but sometimes that's just how she goes, I guess. I don't know why, but sometimes that's how she's got to go. But 
It was quite the eventful night because our truck actually blew a brake line about two miles from the racetrack. So then I had to drive it home with only trailer brakes the whole way. So that was kind of lame. But uh, we made her home safe, no problems. Everything was good there. So truck's actually fixed now. And yeah, so it was a great day. Big shout out to Greg Schmidt at Bad Influence Garage. Make sure you check out his page, guys. He's got a pretty badass Camaro. He's been having a little problems with it, but I'm sure he'll have her up and ripping again here pretty soon. But he helped me pull up to the stage, looked at some tunes, kind of was going over some data with me. So big shout out to him. He did a, a lot to help me out. And sometimes it's just nice to have someone kind of take you under their wing and show you some things because I'm just watching and learning and that's about it, you know, and sometimes you just miss some things. So big shout out to him. That was great. I had a hell of a time, you know, didn't get to talk to a whole lot of people since the, uh, the race went so fast, but it definitely was a great time. And it was, it was actually pretty nice. It was nice that it went fast. I liked when it was slow too. So I don't care either way, but, uh, it was convenient. That's for sure. In and out of there in like five hours. I've never raced that quickly before, but that's about it. That's going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed the uh, Cache of the Creek footage. It was sure a hell of a lot of fun time to be out there and seeing everyone and seeing all the fast cars. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.